It's into safety by Medel. <laughs> they were hugging each other in the tunnel before it started. Now look at them. A red is out, and it's an incident involving Leo Messi out of absolutely nothing. And now the whole world waits to find out whether it's for Medel and Messi. It's unclear at this moment. Medel really lost it. He's done this so often through his career, I must say, and shame on him for that. He's still lost it. It seems clear that Medel is off. He's not going willingly or easily. All in all, one can say that Argentina, as well as winning the game, have done a first-class job of winding Chile up here this evening. But Chile have fallen for it big time. And it looks as though we believe he's also sending off Leo Messi. That is what we're being told, that it is both Medel and Messi. And now, red card incident, the VAR are looking at it. He could possibly rescind a card, but what a story this is. If this tournament ends on this note for the great Messi. The man in the middle of it all, Mario Alberto Diaz de Vivar, the referee here has created the biggest headline, one of the biggest of the tournament. He's still insisting that they go. The player's probably asking the referee, well, go, if you are sure, just go and look at it all again, but he... It would be really exceptional for him to change his mind, and he would lose so much authority if he did that, surely. He may have been too rash in bringing out the red card, but he won't be forgotten, this referee, for what he's done here. And I must say, he does not appear to have the sense of authority or the respect of the players, and this is a problem. Medel appears now to be willing to accept the inevitable. Here's what started it, the little nudge by Messi. Medel right in his face. Messi stands his ground. Medel keeps coming. Another referee on another occasion might have just got them over and given them a stern talking to. Not this man. And another low point for Leo Messi. Messi sent off in the third and fourth place playoff game for Argentina here.